Hello, it's Dave here from Mega Points Controllers. It's been come time to retire my old trusty video camera. It's an old Canon G7X and I used it for all sorts of things and some of the YouTube videos. So we've replaced it and I thought I'd make a test with this. So I have a multi-panel here and I've just made a small batch of um, LED expansion boards for the multi-panel. I thought I'd video the testing. I have a little test LED set here. Drop it on. Connect power. Connect the output. Turn on the multi-panel and see what we have. If I find my little screwdriver there we go, we can test them all. So all the top outputs are working, all I do now is run this across the switch inputs on the multi-panel and check the bottom LEDs running as well. And they're all on, that's a pass. And now we simply rinse and repeat for the others in this small batch. I think there's 25. Put that on the pass pile, drop this on. All on, good. Swap. Pass. Next. Welcome to the wonderfully repetitive world of testing. I don't know what the audio quality is going to be like on this yet because I'm using the onboard microphone. Uh, I think I need to get a, a lapel mic to make this work properly. If I make the um, expansion board and all of the pins aren't in perfect alignment, then fitting this little test adapter is um, going to be hell. So try and get it right. There we go. Whiz them over. And they've all gone to the top. Another pass. Yay. If only everything was this good. I'm actually shooting this in uh, 4K, though I doubt I'll be uploading in 4K. I'll just see what the camera does. I don't actually own a 4K TV yet. My plan is to acquire one next year. Um, I'm waiting for my lounge uh, media player to get an update so it can output in 4K. And at that point I'll, uh, I'll switch, change the TV. So I think watching this testing in 4K would uh, probably just send you nuts in higher quality. Because every board we make is tested. There's a fail. So there's something wrong with output number two on the bottom. And they're all working on the top. So we'll just make a note of that. And I'll take a look at that later. If it's not something trivial, then the board will go in the bin. Of course, I then just put the board on the past pile. Moved it now. There we go, very good. slurp of coffee. Cheers. The camera's just on automatic. I've basically turned it on 
started shooting. Though there are a number of settings I want to tweak. Uh, but I think the most important is to get the sound right. And what's really good with this one is I'm uh, able to control it with my smartphone. Oh, which we've just lost. Disconnecting. Reconnect me. My multi panel gone out of shot. There it is. Woohoo! That's good. Another one. They're all on. The old screwdriver test looks a bit horrific, but uh, it's how I test all the multi panels. That way, if there's a fault, it'll come. Uh, it'll manifest very quickly. They look good. going to attempt to show you before was the um, the phone has an app so I can spin it back come on and I can see uh, see what the camera sees and control it in fact let's play with the wide and the telephoto yep boys with toys eh This one again, they're all on. Hopefully they're all on. And yeah, that's good. Let's play testing LED expansion boards. Hey, with Dave. If you weren't bored before, you are now. I'd recommend watching this video if you're having difficulty falling asleep at night. Just stick it on at bedtime on your uh, your tablet or uh, phone and I'm sure you'll be asleep in no time. And if you're really serious about getting to sleep then, oh there's another one, number five, then treat them as sheep and count them. Number five looks good. We'll fix that. The machine takes, uh, the pick and place machine takes two minutes to assemble one of these boards and there's uh, about 57 components on each one I think. It's quite a few. Rather it than me. And then of course I have to solder all the pins on by hand. Yay. Um, tedious. Or as they say, it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. And then my good wife Sheila will be putting all these in bags later and screaming at me because she'll have put them in and forgot the leads or only put one instead of two or whatever. It'll all be my fault, of course, and I readily accept the blame. Uh, but sometimes people forget that I actually have to make these things as well. And they take a while. And they ain't perfect. In fact, I cock up quite a lot. But I'll own my mistakes and uh, fix them. And I've had a few. I feel like Frank Sinatra now in one of his songs. Mistakes, I've had a few, but then again, 
too few to mention. I'm not going to sing, I can't. What was that regret? Hard to tell really when you're having this much fun. So there'll be uh, more upcoming videos shortly. Now I've got the camera and uh, the silly season will come to an end in uh, end of June, I think. Yeah, end of June. We're in May at the moment. It's absolutely mental. We are flat out making mimic panels and flat out making circuit boards. And as quick as we make them, they seem to uh, just disappear out the door. And we're working on all the, all the new super secret exciting stuff as well that uh, we can't tell you about yet um, for next year. So all in all, it's, uh, it's exciting times for us. We've got a, a product range that's going to grow. New products that will come out and complement and expand this range. And the Mimic panel side is doing, doing well as well. So we are constantly making Mimic panels for customers to their specification. And if you haven't seen those, take a look on the, uh, on the custom Mimic panels page of the website. There's plenty there. And you can see some examples of um, what's going on. I don't know if you remember, a couple of years ago, I, uh, I started a, a two week project to update the website. And that lasted, oh, blimey, two and a half months. Um, I had all sorts of fun from my internet provider. They uh, seem to like breaking things uh, in big time. They migrated us to a uh, a brand new super stable web platform that we couldn't log into so we were broken and didn't have the tools to fix it so in the end I migrated uh, my website onto Amazon Web Services so I'm in the cloud. There was uh, somebody who's been in IT for 40 odd years I uh, tend to think the cloud really is a synonym for the fog because nobody seems to know where anything is. Anyway that's enough of my rambling I hope you enjoyed the testing as much as I did <laughs> and I'll see you with a real video soon and I think if I bring this up there's a button I can press to turn it off. Have a nice day.